What took you guys so long to get here? There's six of us, and this is only a three-seater Jeep. Half of us had to sit on someone else's lap. It was a great road trip. My favorite part was when Griff tried to change gears, and he Ugh. accidentally... Please, let's not tell the story. Is there somewhere I can wash my hands? What'd you find, Tex? Well, O'Malley's holed up in this fortress. He's been fortifying his defenses for a few days now, and he's got some help. One of those religious nuts you guys picked up. Oh, I like them. They were funny. Caboose. They tried to kill you because of a flag. I try not to remember the bad things about people. That's all they tried to do. There were no good things. That's okay. I have a really bad memory. Wow, look, a beach! Shut up, Caboose. What's your plan, Tex? Well, first we have to breach an outer wall. Oh, I love breaching. Then we have to get past another wall. Two walls? Some people are so materialistic. The second wall has a guard tower and an enormous razor-sharp spinning blade. What, that thing? It's spinning like two miles an hour. I didn't say it'd be hard to get past. After that, we have to pass the gun turrets and break into the building. And then we attack O'Malley. No. That's where we plant this. We're planting a volleyball. It's not a ball. It's a bomb. We're planting a volleyball? I scouted a location inside the base where we could set it off and take the whole place down. I marked the spot with a big X. You scouted it? Yeah. If you got past the two walls, the huge spinning blade, the gun turrets, and made it all the way into the fortress, why didn't you just plant the bomb then instead of putting an X on the floor? I can't carry it. What? What was that? It's too heavy, okay? You happy? Yeah, kind of. I need one of you idiots to carry it. I don't have the upper body strength to move it on my own. See? Girls act like they're so tough. But the first time they need someone to move a couch, who do they call? Please don't kill me. Ah, uh, go ahead and kill him. We can use his armor for spare parts. Here, this thing doesn't look so heavy. Let me try. Yo, that thing ain't moving. I can carry it. I guarantee you'll need two people. No, it's true. He's got crazy strength. Church and I think it's God's way of compensating. See? Great balls bunting. He's like an ox. But I have no horns. Or lumberjack friends. Come on. No way it can be that bad. Let me give it a... <sighs> okay. You can carry it. All right. Then we'll storm in there. Blow up O'Malley, leave Griff for dead, and maybe find some clues about what happened to Church and Lopez. You mean your robot? He's in there with him. Lopez is in the building. Ese persona rojo está comenzado a confiar en mis nervos. He keeps asking me if I've accepted the flag as my savior. I'm just not comfortable talking about religion in the workplace. Oh no, here he comes. Master! Headmaster! I have finished the duties you assigned me! You bought us all the guns? Yes, <laughs> and the ammunition too! It was like cleaning the impurities from my very essence. What about the evil windmill? <laughs> I greased the engine and filled it with gas. It was like getting my own soul a tune-up. Yes, yes, all right, fine. Why don't you see about patching up some of these holes in the wall? I think there's some sinister spackle in the tool shed. Excellent idea, sir. It will probably help keep out that crowd of people that's been gathering on the beach. Yes, of course, all the people on the beach, blah, 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 blah. Wait, what did he say? Wait, let me get this straight. The biggest threat we know of is in that building, and you don't want me to blow it up? We can't. We need Lopez's head. It has valuable information stored in it. Sorry, I'm going with the bomb. But hey, here's an idea. Maybe you could find your buddy's head in the rubble when we're done. Come on. We can't lift a bomb, but we can dig through rubble. Sorry, but there is no way I'm letting O'Malley get away this time. Just hire her. What? Hire her to help you get Lopez back. She'll do anything for money. That's not true. It's not? I'll give you ten bucks to tear off Griff's arm. Which one's Griff? See? She's not even really on the blue team. She was just paid to come help us. He's Griff. How do we pay her? We don't even have any money. We don't even know what money is in the future. Yeah, they could have shells or laser beams for currency. Laser beams? Yeah, that would be the coolest wallet ever. Why don't you trade her a favor? Huh? Have her do this for you, and then you guys owe her a favor. That's how these freelancers get stuff done, right? That'll work. I'll help you, and then the two of you have to do something for me. Okay, we'll do it. Wait just a second. What would we have to do? It all depends. Depends on what? On what I need to do some future job. But it could be anything. That's right, anything. Like gay stuff? I have no idea. Well, can we rule out the gay stuff? Hey, how come I never get the help? No, no, what are you doing? Don't live with your legs. Your back's the strongest muscle in your body. And look, man, your knees aren't even locked. How do you expect to stand up straight? Come on, put your groin into it. And stop exhaling on every lift. The 
goal is to hold your breath as long as possible. Under stress, the body produces all the oxygen it needs. Purr! Grind it out! Can't I just pick this up when we are ready to go? Yeah, I guess that makes sense.